Hi guys, so I have just finished this and I was about to list it on my Etsy shop and take some pictures. Um, I am so ashamed to say I have not even listed the first Halloween junk journal, which was a lot chunkier and bigger than this one, but um, I am doing that as well. I was about to take pictures of the both of them and put them on there, um, and I thought I would just share this one first. So this is a junk journal that is Halloween themed, and I'm going to make, uh, I'm thinking a few more of these like this, um, that are sort of like this, though of course they'll be different, but you know, in the, along the same vein, um, maybe two or three more. I, I don't know yet, I haven't decided. So this one is super simple, okay? So I made it simple on purpose. So you can see um, it has the pretty paper on the front. I left the spine naked because I just thought that the title was funny. Um, and so I've left the spine pretty naked. This has like a really simple stitching. Um, I, I wanted to keep that simple stitching. Um, and then um, for the front, I just, um, I embossed this paper and then I cut the center out of it, put another paper behind it because I really love this paper. And then um, I just grunged it up a little bit and put some ink on it. And if my shadow wasn't all in the way, the lighting would be much better. See, there it is. Um, and so I wonder if my shadow will be so in the way if I sit down. Um, so anyways, that's what I've done with the front cover. Um, now this I have unhooked, and the reason why I have it unclasped is because I, the only thing I have not finished on this junk journal is I have not um, added my own adhesive to this. So this is the adhesive that came along with this clasp, and it is not good, you guys. It's not good enough. So I didn't want to clasp it without um, support because I didn't want to mess up anything on the cover but you can see this is the cover it is clasped this way so it has a clasp and then it also comes with a key so you can lock it and then it just goes around to the back now you can see if I close this that I've given this a lot of room wiggle room and it does stretch as well and the reason why I did this is because whoever uses this book I want them to be able to add their own things inside of it that was the whole point of this junk journal so that was the idea behind it you can see it's still a little bit chunky um for the binder the binding um for the spine of the book I mean so for the small spine it is still chunky but I've left a lot of slack in this stretchy binding um or the lock rather, the clasp, so that you can add more things in it and it can get bigger. And um, so the clasp will be able to support that as soon as I put my own adhesive on it. Never trust this store-bought adhesive because you'll be disappointed it's not gonna work. <laughs> Um, I did put the ribbon in here. I liked the spiders going down. So this is a ribbon. Again, very simple. I loved I I'm not good at simplicity, you guys. I'm never good at it, but Ever since Tanya has been here from home with Tanya, she's my bestie. I love her. Um, she, I don't know, she inspires me to be a little bit more simplistic. And I don't know, I think that's the fun of having friends that are, you're both crafty, but they're a little bit different than you because you can just come together and kind of draw inspiration from each other. And so this, she does everything so precisely that I'm in love with it and I'm just not that way I'm just throw it all together and chunk it in a book and there you go it's done and there you know it, she said that when she was here there's there's a talent in that there is there's a beauty in that but there's also a beauty in doing everything so precisely and just sometimes you can be you can have simplicity and that is beautiful so that's kind of the way I wanted to go with this I wanted to have lots of writing space lots of space for pictures lots of space for you to do it and make it your own and so that's kind of my idea for this particular one so I just left this really simple I stuck a few tags in here nothing too crazy and then this little pocket this stamping that says how happy Halloween Here's just a little postcard. I stamped a little spider on it. It has like some embellished little jewels and there's that happy Halloween again. This is not supposed to go here, so I'll have to re-glue that down. Um, and then I just left it blank on the other side. So you can do your own stamping or you can draw on it. You can put a picture here. You can write on this, put a picture here. I just wanted the possibilities to be endless and I think that I achieved that. So I'm happy with it. I'm happy with you know my decision to leave it simple. And um, this pumpkin is a pocket and he has little spiders coming out and off of him. 
And so there's that. And then there's 31 with a spider web. Um, this here is a um, pocket. So you can put things on that. Um, this is just this little skeleton. I left the rest of the page blank. You can um, put a journaling card in here and write on it. You can put a picture on it. You can do whatever. Um, I just wanted there to be room to do whatever. Um, this was a Halloween card that Tanya got for me from the Dollar Tree, and it's beautiful. It has glitter on it, and I made it into a tuck spot pocket, so it is open here and here. Sorry if I shook the camera. Um, this is a tuck spot as well, double, double, toil and trouble, and it has the witch's feet and then her hat and her belt. This, um, with a spider and a, um... It's a little pocket, it has like some journaling cards in here and some old like um, order papers. Um, this here is a tuck spot and then this here comes up. If my washi would not do that, I'm gonna have to put some adhesive on that as well, I guess. Um, it just has this little thing that peeks out so when you flip it up, that is what is on the back. So there's that guy. And then this is just a little envelope. So this is a pocket behind the envelope. Then you can stick things inside the envelope as well. And then this opens. A little mean pumpkin. Look at his mean face. Um, I love this little cameo stamp. And then I just put a witch's hat on her. Um, and then it is a pocket. And there are some little journaling cards and receipts in here. This is a journaling card with a pocket. It's made into a pocket and I left this blank partly because I just love the spiders and partly because, uh oh, stuff is falling off of my table. That's how messy it is. Um, <laughs> um, I just wanted there to be room. So if you wanted to write on this, you could totally write on it or you could put pictures and write on this part. Um, I just wanted it to be kind of open to the user. So this behind here is a pocket. And then this bag, of course, is a way to put things inside of there as well. This here is a tuck spot. And then so is this. So you can tuck things in, tuck things in. Um, my tag must have fallen out because I had a tag right there as well. But a tag can go in here, in here. They're just little tag pockets. Um, I thought that was really cute. This is a file folder, so it's a pocket behind, and then it opens up here so you can write on that. This is a little tuck spot here. This you can tuck things under here, and then you can stick things in the envelope as well. And I love this little Halloween bow. It is so stinking cute. Too cute. So cute. And then it just has this little chipboard trick-or-treat. This one I left plain again. This is just a little pocket with some tickets inside. This is a tuck spot. This here is a pocket, a side pocket. This is a tuck spot. This is a tuck spot as well. So lots of tuck spots in here for you to put little mementos in. I left these pages blank partly because I love this. There's something about... It's always, as you can see when I put that in the front, it's always like the white or cream background with like the black, very simplistic. I know, I keep saying that, simplicity, I don't know. I like that print where it's just like black and white and maybe just a little bit of color. I don't know. It's always that paper in the pack that I gravitate towards. So I wanted to leave these blank so you can use them however you want. This, hopefully you guys can see at the bottom, it just has this chipboard glitter piece. It says Boo. Again, I kept this completely blank because I really just love this and I love the gold glitter adding a little pop to this. And then this one here just has some stamping on it and then it just has grid paper you can draw or write on. Here's a pocket and it just has some tags inside and it has a little tag sticker on there. And um, this is a side pocket with the little skeleton dancing. This is a, oh, I was like, I was thinking to myself, that's a very large pocket. This, you can stick stuff up here, and then it has these little chipboard pumpkins, and I stamped on the chipboard, so I really liked that one. Um, this one here just has space to write on this pocket, so it's a pocket as well. 
um, I stamped onto this pumpkin too. It says trick or treat. And then this is a little pocket. And this is a big old tuck spot so you can tuck in from the side. This has a little bag that you can use so it does open up and you can stick some things inside of here. And then it's also a little tuck spot pocket. This is a belly band. This is a little tuck spot with a little chipboard spider. This one here, you can just tuck stuff up in there. This, again, I just left blank so you can write things on it. Just has the little poison bottle on there. This is a pocket. This I left blank again because I just couldn't bear to cover up this paper. It's so pretty. This is a tuck spot and it says Happy Halloween. And then the last page here is a side pocket. And then it ends with the ribbon just like it began. And then it has that little closure where it also has, again, a key that goes with it as well. So you can lock it. Just don't lose the key. Um, so I am going to be listing this little guy on my Etsy shop. Um, I'm really not sure how many pages it has. If you count front and back, I'm not sure, but that is what she looks like from the side. And I like this. I think it is very, very cute. And it definitely leaves a lot of room for growth for the user to put whatever he or she wants into it. And so I am going to be listing this. Um, I'm going to take pictures of it as soon as I get done and put it on up there. So we shall see. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so very much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.